Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you how to build a small e-commerce website using data management for Bing Wharton Zoo as my database provider and I would like to do it from within Cloud Templates in VRA. So in order to do so, I'm going to take advantage of a new functionality called Custom Resources and in this specific use case, powered by AVX. And if you are not familiar with AVX, it's nothing but function as a service with multi-scripting capabilities. But what will this allow me is to transform the data management for Binware Zoo and expose it in Cyber A as infrastructure as code, which enables me to deploy the resource, but also apply multiple second day operations on top of that. So making the management of databases a lot simpler when combining data management for Winward and Zoo with VRA. And if you are not familiar with uh, data management for Winward and Zoo, this is an excellent service that allows you to run your own databases as a service on vSphere. So your whole organization can simplify, automate, and easily scale database provisioning and management. This is supported on vSphere 6.7 and also vSphere, vSphere 7. Essentially, data management from Bingward and Sue will take care of the heavy lifting of operating a database for you. And we will optimize even further with VRAs, especially transforming this resource as infrastructure as code. So let's take a look deep and see how this is possible. So this is the user interface for the data management for Bingward and Sue. I'm currently logged in as an administrator for one other organization, which happens to have already a couple of databases. But let's focus on VRA. Uh, here we are going to build a custom resource for the data management for Tensu. And it's quite simple. I just need to provide some input, but more importantly, I need to map ABS actions to the lifecycle operations or additional actions for second day operations. Uh, you can see right here that I can create uh, a resource. And what it really means is that an ABX action that's holding my Python script that calls the APIs of the data management for Tensu is going to be called. That's simple, right? And once I have accomplished this, I'm going to be able to go to the Cloud Templates design, design Canvas, and I'm going to be able to explore all the resources that I have available to me out of the box. But if I scroll down a little bit, you can recognize the recently created custom resource. This custom resource, like any other custom resource, is going to present to me with all the minimum properties that I need to provide to build this resource. And it's going to give me, uh, the design camp is going to give me more details about the uh, properties that I can use and what kind of types those, those um, properties are, right? And you can recognize immediately right here, a standard uh, properties that I may need for deploying uh, a database server. Uh, in fact, I already pre-staged this cloud template with fixed data, with input generated from the end user. And, you know, once again, I'm starting to take advantage of what VRA is able to give to me. So let's deploy it, right? Uh, I'm going to give it a name like any other deployment I have available in VRA. Let's go next. I'm going to provide the appropriate input. Like in this case, I want to change the name of the, the instance or the database instance. I may provide uh, credentials. I may provide a service port. I'm going to be flexible enough for my end user to provide whatever input they, they want. And once I have this um, uh, populated, I can deploy. And you can see here, we speed it up a little bit, that many operations are being accommodated. Uh, the front end, the network. But I want to focus on the Tansu custom resource that we created. You can see that now, right now is being created. And what this really means is that my ABX action to create, the one I, I showed you in the beginning, is actually being executed at the moment, right? It's going to collect the input from the cloud template, use it to run the Python script that I define, and even collect some sensitive data that I define as a part of the action, right? And when I put all this together, it's going to create a database through data management for Tansu. You can see it running. You can see uh, VRA is Klaus. I'm able to most show it to me. But we, if we go back to the to the uh, user interface in Tansu, you can see that it's actually being created. So I don't really need to interface directly with the data management for being with Tansu GUI. I just let my end user, my developers, to call it through um, a custom resource. And once the action is completed, I can even examine further if I want to. You can see all the detailed information was returned from data management for Tensu to me. And I can get even more detail of the actual 
Python execution, you can see the progress was shown and even have details about the whole execution. And if we go back, you can see that since I define my database as the first resource to be created before my front end is, is completed, you can see it's, it's, it's still building that. And more importantly, all the state information of this database that I just created is presented to me in Cloud Assembly. Uh, you can see now the database has finally been completed. You can recognize it by the name I define. More importantly, remember when I mentioned that the service is going to take care of many activities, you can see the database is uh, backup has been performed and all the details that I provided through the Cloud Assembly are not available here. Some information was derived and created as part of deployment. So if we go back to the Cloud Assembly, you can see that the, finally the whole deployment, the whole workload has been completed. My front end is completed and making use of the database. In fact, uh, we can actually launch uh, the website, the e-commerce website, by just accessing the IP assigned to my front end, which in turn is going to interface with the database. And every operation that I'm going to show you here, my website, it has some um, queries going back to the database, a database that is being served by the data management um, for Tansu. You can see it's just working just fine, making queries to the database. If I want to find a little more information about the catalog, all this information is coming from my database, right? This database that Tansu is providing to me. Uh, and if you have a full functional e-commerce website. In fact, you can tell that the information from uh, that I see in my cloud assembly is exactly the same information I, I see here, but even data management for Tansu is gonna give me metrics, it's gonna give me, it's gonna monitor the database, it's gonna scale the database whenever it's needed. So I don't really need to worry about my database anymore. I just focus on my application and B-Ray is gonna make it even simpler to me because it's gonna be able to export actions available in data management for Tansu, like the backup that I'm performing right now. It's gonna make it easy to consume. It's gonna make it easy to expose to main users. And they don't really need to worry about anything else. It's just one point of entry for them to access uh, database as a service. And you can see right now that backup operation is also being executed and it's nothing more but another ABX action that I crafted to make a call to data management uh, Tansu, provide my input. In this case, uh, I created a, um, uh, a backup as a second day operation. I can uh, examine and audit every operation I have done it. And if we go back to the GUI here in Tansu, you can tell that this is my backup that was processed for me. It was an incremental backup out of the first one that it was created as part of the defined policies in data management for Beamware Tansu. Excellent. And I can do a lot more. This is a deployment. This is not just deploying uh, a workload. I can actually update this, this, this deployment, including the custom resource that I have uh, created myself. I can go and say, I changed my mind. It should be a different instance name or maybe a different data service port. I can update all that information. And what is actually going to happen is that Bure is going to be able to use my ABX action, find out what is out there, the current state in, in my deployment, and give me a suggestion about what is the plan that we need to proceed. I'm going to recreate this resource. I'm going to update that resource, whatever it takes, and I can easily just submit, right? But let's not do it for now. Uh, you can see, once again, my operations have been completed. I can also delete this deployment, which is also as important as creating one, right? It's going to take care of deleting this database and the associated data from the uh, data management for Tansu. And that's as important as creating the database, right? And now we can witness how we raise the leading the custom resource for us um, by calling the appropriate ABX action that we define uh, as part of the custom resource. And we can verify this execution by looking into the data management for Beamware Tansu and verify that it's gone. So there you have it. That simple is to create custom resources for real services. Thank you.